Hi everybody, this is Char and I just wanted to put out a little message out there to wish everybody a happy Halloween and I'll be going live tonight. I hope you're all well and I hope you are having a wonderful weekend. Also, I'm using the dream catchers. But before I start reading, I also would like to thank everybody for their support and I hope you enjoyed the videos. Also, today is Halloween, like I said, and that means that we have um, a very thin fail between the hair and the um, afterlife or the other frequency. So I hope a lot of you will receive messages from the angels, the divine, or from ancestors or relatives that have gone over. Today, talk to them as if they are sitting in the same room with you and let them know how much you love them so that they will feel um, initiated or motivated to send you back a message. That said, I hope you have a wonderful day. We come in with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords to me with this deck means not only that you are moving away from difficult times, rough waters, but also quieter waters. You feel safe. You've got the star here and on that star there might be a wish and that's what you're, where you're heading to because you want to sling your anchor um, where you feel safe and where your wish or dreams are. You could be moving home, but you could also be moving from one firm to another firm or moving your business. There's going to be gentler and quieter times ahead of you. Also, we have the Queen here. You might feel isolated, but you won't be isolated for very long because of the island. A picture says a thousand words. We've got the Queen of Pentacles here and that's why I'm saying you won't be isolated too long because there is a new beginning. The time is fertile to start something new, perhaps getting pregnant or um, starting a new hobby or a new job. Something with tangibility, durability and long for long term. That could also bring back returns again and again. This is what I call commission or in your investments, rediment on your investments. And it's something will grow to harvest and then you can pluck it. So you can pluck the harvest. Now the Queen of Pentacles has green fingers and that is exactly what she stands for. She sows the seeds, so know what you are going to sow, then you know what return you're going to get what the seeds are. If you are choosing for roses, then you know you will pluck roses. If you sow tulips, like in the picture, then you will be reaping tulips. For the, some of you, you might not know what you have sown, so it remains a surprise. For those that want to get pregnant, it is time. It, the time is fertile to get pregnant. For those that can't get pregnant, you might be finding out that you're becoming a grandmother or an aunt. Some of your friends, someone in your vicinity might be getting pregnant. So hearing of a birth, being a child or a project. The Queen of Pentacles also represents Virgo. So you could be meeting a new person that is a Virgo. And we've got a couple of people here We've also got the Justice card, which represents Libra and the Chariot, and that represents Cancer. So these three zodiac signs could be prominently in your life or could be entering your life. If you are investing or getting married, like investing your love for long term, then you might be getting married. This could be the Justice of the Peace. Also, official papers could be signed, a new start. There you go. Contracts for a job, contracts for a new home, because we do have the moving home cards right at the beginning of the reading and at the end of the reading. Just if you are in a judicial situation, justice will be done. 
you will get what you deserve and so will the other. On the other hand, you might be feeling out of balance and you, this new beginning will bring you back into balance. What I'm also um, getting from this picture and this picture, this picture, you might be branching out and moving home or moving your firm and you, you could be very ambitious because of the high rise buildings. Like I said, um, pictures say a thousand words. Now, if you go to my website, you also see a lady standing on a mountain and smoke is coming out of her head. And so you might be brewing up new ideas, a new investment, and the time is ripe for that. I love this justice card because it really looks voluptuous and rich like all these cards do, but she's dressed in gold and she um, also stands, um, gives me the idea of liberty, justice, uh, money coming in, new thoughts, new communication. Uh, there could be, um, you might be writing a book or a story that will bring in money. Again, you could be signing contracts with um, a publisher. Also, at the end of the day or the end of the reading, we've got the chariot. So you do have public recognition or you have recognition in the courts, in judicial situations. Also, um, people might be demanding your energy or your attention. Um, as you've got recognition, you could be getting more customers or whatever. You could also be meeting a cancer as um, the chariot represents cancer. You've got number seven, so that is luck. And you're going up six, seven, so you're already going up. Also, if you've had your eye on a car, it could be yours or a vehicle, as the chariot represents a vehicle. You could be very strong-minded today, or this Halloween could make you even stronger-minded because of the ideas that are developing. You're moving onwards and upwards to the next level. So this Halloween, this luck of Halloween, could bring you promotions, or it can bring you marriage, it can bring you a new love um, that will grow into a long-term relationship and perhaps marriage or some form of contractual partnership. You could also be going on holiday. Both of these cards means moving home or going on holiday. And this holiday could be, excuse me, that was Millie, this holiday could also be crossing water, so some of you could even be immigrating to another country. And you need legal papers for that, like an ID, um, uh, inoculation uh, certificates, um, uh, how do you call it, a visum. So you need to go to the right municipalities to get these papers so that you can be on your way. Also, I love this reading because it is positive. And so the energy from today, you could say you're going to a positive future, especially because Halloween means um, ghosts and spirits. So perhaps now spirit will show you some signs that you are moving on and upwards to your goal where you want to be. You might be gaining knowledge as well. You might even start a new study. As I see a big building that could be a school and also the ideas coming out of her mind. It could be you might be studying in a municipality or law or something to do with cutting like surgery or the dentist or things like that, chiropody um, or being a butcher. Nowadays, it is very, very difficult to find a proper professional butcher. I think so. Anyway, 
believe in your own magic and I've got the deck here believe in your own magic and I'm going to pull one for each sign so now I'm going to pull one for the earth signs the earth signs number 13 that means um, more friends you could be making new friends okay the earth signs and the earth signs are Capricorn Taurus and Virgo lioness you've earned all your stripes now you can see here that she's it's rather a little bit discolored I'll hold it up to the camera those are her stretch marks and that reminds me of the stretch marks reminds me of like stripes like a sergeant a major a colonel and get going higher up so where your stripes or your um, uh, I forgot the word scars with pride because you've enhanced your life's experience your life's knowledge and now it is in your turn to write your chapter so start writing the fairy tales are over you've earned your stripes and you're, you're stronger and more determined <coughs> to get things done now I'm going to go on to the air signs so air here we go that's yours garden something lovely will grow from me from this so we've got the queen of pentacles here and um, perhaps this new study something will grow from that or you have sown seeds so something you've already planted something and um, you're making your own rose garden remember roses are sweet and beautiful but they do have thorns so always maintain that flexibility being able to compromise and um, watch out for the thorns okay air signs that is Gemini Libra or Aquarius plant what you need and be, um, make sure that you know what you're planting that is um, and come go outside go out into nature make your own sacred space or go to your sacred space and meditate or contemplate um, and evaluate so that you know what seed you want to plant next for the next step also you've got number 15 which is a six so you are in balance and I forgot to say to the earth signs um, number 13 becomes a four so that's proper foundations so I'm sorry about that so if you're still here in a cross cross watcher I'm sorry okay now I'm going to take pull a card for the water signs and you have the stars so there is a wish coming true for you uh, water signs and the water signs are um, cancer Scorpio and Pisces you might have a sleepover you might be getting together with a, um, your soulmate or a best friend for life that is your soulmate after all you can manifest your every wish so be careful what you wish you might just feel a little bit out of balance especially around the full moon and the new moon also tonight because you are spiritual you're empathic you're highly sensitive um, you're loving and passionate and a nurturing type so yes I think uh, with the cosmos here this is a lovely card for you to come out so stay in balance and work towards your wish you're halfway there okay five is the half of ten okay you've the cards the minor are cards are uh, from one to ten so you're halfway there so don't give up if you are planning some planting something okay or investing in something now we're going to the fire signs and you have two you could be partnering up you could be in balance but you need a little bit more sugar in your life you need sweetness so go out there and come into action and get the sweetness in your life 
the evil queen. So somebody could be um, quite evil or negative behind your back. Leave, let them go and carry on with the sweet things in your life. You deserve sugar, not salt. So be your own person. Be charming and be creative like you are. Don't be too strategic. Let the love, life and laughter come into your life fire signs. So open your mind, open your heart and your solar plex and be ready to experience fun. I hope you've enjoyed this reading my darlings. Take care, stay safe and be blessed and have a wonderful day and weekend what is left of it. Love you dearly. Bye bye. I'm going live tonight.